Sweet. Oh, yeah. I don't have anything. Uh, how's everybody doing? Good? Yeah? Can we give a round of applause for Achmed and everybody? Um, I'm going to try to do a lot in 15 uh, minutes, if possible. Uh, I get that there's a camera right here. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about Architect. It's a brand new project that was launched at uh, Node Summit, which was about a month ago. Has anybody heard of Architect? Dot Architect. A couple people that I work with. People that were at the conference. OK, cool. Um, hi, I'm Darcy Clark. I'm a developer, designer, speaker, entrepreneur. I'm a bunch of things. Um, I'm probably almost certainly not the smartest person in this room. Um, I've worked with a bunch of really big companies, small companies. Um, right now, I actually work with Telus Digital um, with Ahmed and a great team. Um, I also help run Node School here in Toronto, which is really cool. Um, also, yeah, Node School. Yeah, anybody? Um, wicked. Uh, I also help out the JS Foundation. Um, which is a subsidiary foundation underneath the Linux Foundation, works alongside Node Foundation, and does a lot of cool stuff. Um, they support these projects, including that little guy, brand new guy up here, called Architect. Um, they also do Webpack, and they support things like licensing and, and awesome stuff. Um, I also uh, have started to do interviews. The most recent one um, for JS Foundation was with um, the founder or the creator of this uh, project architect, Brian LaRue, um, who is amazing. And they launched this project at Node Summit about a month ago. Um, does anybody know who Brian LaRue is? Hopefully everybody. Does no, uh, like, who knows what PhoneGap is in Cordova? Yeah, you can thank him. Awesome. Vancouverite. Canadians. Woo, Canadians. Um, so he started a brand new uh, company called Begin. Um, and while he was building the company, he, he was like, manual setting up and provisioning of like infrastructure, it really sucks. Um, and so he's like, I'm going to bring make a brand new project. And he brought it to the JS Foundation and open sourced it um, just last month. I was there to help with, I guess, branding. So like, that's my nice design. Ooh, right? Sweet. No. Okay. Here's some cool hacks, C like logos. No, nobody's like excited. Okay. Cool. Uh, standardizing serverless deployments with Architect. How are we going to do this? I'm going to try to do a demo in this like next 10 minutes. Um, what are the problems that we're really trying to solve here? Um, well, we want to create a manifest um, or some sort of type of schema um, to help us. Uh, deployed to all these new uh, cloud uh, function services like uh, AWS, etc. Um, so Architect essentially a .arc file is what you're going to learn about. This doc .arc file is a plain text manifest file, and so it makes you think about your infrastructure uh, uh, as text, your infrastructure as text, but actually it's architecture as text. Um, the existing ecosystem, you already saw some of this stuff today. Um, there's obviously AWS serverless application model, so SAM, the SAM template. This is kind of bulky, no offense, all the AWS guys. This is kind of bulky serverless, like their YAML file and all the configuration that you have to put in here to like deploy some stuff. Terraform, I mean, it's not great. So essentially what we want is something that's super painless, like something super small, slim, built for and standardized across all these ecosystems. So we came up with the, well, not we, sorry, Brian LaRue and his team came up with the .arc file. Um, so it's going to be a .file that looks something like this. So this is an .arc file. Looks pretty sweet, eh? Very simple. Um, there's only essentially like two rules uh, for the schema. It's essentially a comment starts with, obviously, a hash. And sections start with like an at. Um, and the documentation, if you ever want to go quickly, it's always uh, right here, arc.codes. It's the sweetest URL you've ever seen. And I'll zoom in, arc.codes. Um, links at the end of this presentation. Um, so schema is pretty simple, pretty cool. Um, but you can do some awesome stuff with it. So uh, you can essentially define your uh, routes that will spin up your uh, serverless functions. Um, and this does all sort of the orchestration for you. Um, arc files live alongside your, so to prefix this a little bit, uh, arc files live alongside your package JSON files. So this is obviously meant for JavaScript developers. How many of them are here? One, maybe two. I know it's an antiquated language. Um, cool. So uh, Arc is extremely expressive. 
right? So this is an example of an ARC uh, a file. Um, so essentially, you're just defining you know, the name of your application, will, which will get utilized um, right now in the only supported uh, service, AWS, um, along with you set up all your routes. Um, and you can even set up like things like JSON, um, endpoints. So workflows um, come down to these supported um, sort of sections. So HTML, JSON, events, tables. Tables obviously would be like DynamoDB, um, and you can read more about that all in uh, the docs. Um, so let's try to get to a demo quickly, if I can, um, to get started with Architect. It's super simple. Um, I'm actually going to do the worst thing possible that, how much time do I have actually? I'm good? OK, I can slow down a little bit. This is a blank folder. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, right? Like, how many people actually demo with like nothing in a folder? A few? Did, did somebody else do this today? No, I, okay. Let's do, start with everybody's, or every JavaScript developer's favorite command, npm init. Yeah, sure, let's take whatever you got, right? Have you seen that command before? I hate answering questions. Sweet, so we've got package JSON now in there. Um, we also need to. Uh, create, or we need to install Architect. So Architect um, has some default uh, like workflows, essentially a wrapper. This is how it interfaces and, and can essentially uh, build up your serverless functions. So I do npm uh, install uh, at Architect workflows, and we'll save that guy. Whoop. If I can spell. And let's see if the Wi-Fi will keep up. We're going to try to deploy some functions in like no time at all here. Awesome. So now we should see a nice lock file because NPM is great now. Um, if I open up this folder in Atom, which is the slowest editor ever, and I'm not cool like everybody else on VS Code. Wicked. So we should see that we've saved now uh, architect to our package JSON. Um, what we're going to need to do here for architect to actually work um, is to add in our AWS credentials, or essentially references to that, um, which I actually have uh, right here. So architect works just like if you were creating some deploy scripts in your package JSON. So here, uh, I just referenced my uh, AWS profile, and then essentially the region that I'm in, um, and essentially these three scripts that are, are documented, create, deploy, start, um, they're going to help us deploy our serverless functions quite easily. And of course, the last thing we need is a ARC file. So let's open ARC. Let's give it a name. Anybody got a name? Give me a name. Functions. Funk. Funky. Cool. Um, and HTML, we're going to say, you, so essentially you'll say get, post, let's say just an endpoint. Architect actually is really nice. They're actually going to build up a hello world if you just leave this blank and you don't have anything in your directory yet. And we can do npm run create. So literally, I have an arc file, I have a package JSON, and oh my goodness, what's happening? Are we deploying to the cloud? Yeah, kind of. One sec. We'll see. Funky production, crunchy staging. What else? What else we got? Hurry up. Hurry up, Wi-Fi. So what you'll see now is that if this finishes, Demo time, wicked. So we deployed, essentially. We created in a couple seconds, uh, essentially a hello world um, architect uh, app. Uh, and what might be interesting for most folks is what actually gets generated, and I'll get back over here, what actually gets generated in the folder. Um, so you see that a source folder was created, and within that, you actually have references to the different sections, essentially folders, that then within those have associative uh, files, which are your functions as a service, or your functions, serverless 
functions. Um, so here you can see that they just easily gave me a nice little wrap around a hello world. Uh, essentially, this is now running in its production. I can even, boom, hello world, right? So it was like deployed in like seconds. We've, it's actually, if I go into my AWS backend, it's like, oh, look, now I've got like functions deployed. You literally can walk away from this conference running like serverless functions in, in the cloud if, if you want. And look, it also created a couple tables in DynamoDB for me um, to keep reference of all of these, essentially these ruts. So this is great, right? Funky staging, funky uh, deploy. Well, let's update this Hello World app and say Hello Functions 2017. Uh, okay, let's do npm uh, run deploy. So we're gonna deploy and Architects smart enough that they're only going to deploy to staging, right? They're not going to deploy your production. So you have to pass a flag explicitly for this. Um, wicked. So I prep this. So you can create another script if you like. So I just created deploy prod. And you can see that there's a uh, arc deploy environment variable essentially so i just said production so now when i run this npm script deploy prod now we're going to actually be deploying to prod and now if we go back to that beautiful endpoint that we were at before that was created for us yay hello functions 2017 wicked and i have like five minutes left kind of so let's Look at a couple things. Um, how to get started with Architect. Really simple. NPM install. Uh, you can install then the Architect workflows, which will help you actually deploy to the cloud. Currently, it only supports AWS, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, you need to create a .arc file that's going to live right beside your um, ESLint file or beside your package.json file, right? It's going to live right there in your project. Um, and this is essentially how you can orchestrate a whole bunch of functions in the cloud. Um, and then once you're ready to actually deploy for the first time, you can do npm run create. Um, from there, then you can run, hit deploy. Um, so essentially, what is next for this project? This brand new project, it's open source, uh, supported by the JS Foundation. Um, they are working with partners, actually. They've reached out to Microsoft, and uh, they've also reached out to, I think, who else? Uh, yeah, the, the guys at Google um, to get support, uh, essentially add back in and contribute support for um, those services. Um, what's next is obviously being able to support um, uh, HTTP uh, uh, files like JS and CSS. Um, doing something really cool like npm run DNS should give me a stack domain name uh, that spun up uh, in front of CloudFront and give me back essentially a value um, or like for a specific value that I've defined, which should be really cool. Um, and then sp some specific environment variable configuration is, is what's next on this project's roadmap. So if you're interested about learning more, head over to arc.codes. Um, if you want to contribute to the project, it's arc. Uh, dash repos, and there's a whole bunch of documentation and everything that we could help your or get your help with. And uh, I'm at Darcy on Twitter, really easy to remember. And thank you for listening. Cheers.